Right. Now, we have a lot of youngsters who are aspiring to be leaders and coming into leadership position. If we have to give two advices to the younger generation of aspiring leaders, what would that be? First of all, I would preface my advice with this uh, observation that they are probably in the golden era of living as far as we are concerned. You know, that life has never been so better or so good as it is today, whether it is the internet or whether it is the ice communications or different, different things. Similarly, there are many other things also which have changed attitudinally. For instance, failing is no longer a curse. Failing is no longer a permanent blot. Not trying is a problem. So therefore, I believe that if these people have dreams and which they should have, everyone should have dreams bigger than they are, then they should try them out. And if they fail, never mind. Neither the family nor the society will look at them as losers. They will look at them as people who tried and trying and are better than others who are not trying. So first, if you have a dream as you should, then you should try. That is number one. Number two is that don't try to do it alone. Try to have collaborators. Try to have team, whether this team can come from your schoolmates or college mates or university mates or even professors also. If you can develop a team of collaborators around the things that you have, chances are that you will succeed more easily than when you go it alone. Go it alone is not possible to be done today because of the multiple complexities of multiple things. It is not so easy world. It, there, it's a multi-layered world. And in a multi-layered world, you have to have a multi-talent team. And that means that you have to depend upon others also. You have to take their advice. You have to win their trust. If you see these startups, all these startups have one thing in common. Excellent team behind them. Okay. And, and the moment that the team disintegrates, either the stock prices go down or something else happens because people also believe that even though you are founder, even though you are the best brain, but you are not the only brain. There are many other brains behind the success of that particular organization. So let them learn the value of collaboration. Let them learn the value of teammates. Build some people, identify their talent and then work around with, with them and then go for that. So these are the two things I would like to say. I think it summarizes like as youngsters, never give up on trying and be collaborative in your approach so that Absolutely. you will be able to work with the team to succeed. Yeah, because resources becomes easier. People will also trust you more with their money with their, you know, uh, if you have a team behind it and that particular team can show. And I have seen it here in Dubai as well as, you know, in India that those people who had a good team behind them, they succeeded right. faster than the people who went alone. That's the thing I would like to say. And failing is not a problem. Neither it will affect your career, not it will affect. And even if you fail, and you know, many organizations now are giving a very good uh, value to the concept of entrepreneurship, not ent entrepreneurship, but entrepreneurship, which means okay. you should take risks within my organization. You should try and do something uh, and then we will fund you. I think this okay. is an excellent opportunity for you to be entrepreneur, even when you are a career person, even when you are doing some kind of a job. So entrepreneurship qualities can be both outside on your own, or it could also be inside as an employee of a particular organization but both will stand in good stead for you if you have that kind of approach of taking risks, not worrying if you're failing and building a team of collaborators around you. Very nice, uh, Dr. Agarwal. Very refreshing thoughts from your side. And we thoroughly, I, I thoroughly enjoyed discussing with you. And I'm sure you very much. I also, also hope, benefit yeah, tremendously I, yeah, I also from hope this. I that uh, some of it was useful to your you know, audience. I will very be really much, grateful uh, for this particular, you know, always, I mean, my family will also look forward to what this has been, you know, there and therefore, hopefully it will be useful for me also to reflect at some point, which thoughts need to be recalibrated or restated. 
Definitely. And wish you all the best in your thank you. future endeavors. And uh, thank you so much.